Hi, welcome to another edition of Handland Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with your host, Socrates. Today we're going to take a look at the Engelneck Y shunting puzzle. Now I've been building a time saver, but I wanted to add an Engelneck Y to the track layout to make it a little more interesting. Now these are both shunting puzzles, which basically is a missing piece kind of a layout where you have to move the trains around from one position to another position and it gives you a, a way of doing operations as it's called with your layout I was always one who would make a train go and just watch it and to me this is a, a way to make a much smaller layout and to do an interesting thing with it now the time saver isn't exactly prototypical because it's kind of um, made to be difficult Whereas the Engelnick Y is actually, I think, quite prototypical. It's a three-siding layout with a, a, a header track. And the way it normally works, the classic Engelnick Y has two small sidings of three cars each, a long siding that holds five cars, and the short header track that holds three cars plus the locomotive. And this allows you to shunt or move the cars from the sidings into a specific order. And the way the game is generally played, you would put your eight cars in this setup. You would have eight cars on the tracks, and then you would pick a random five of them in a specific order. And then you would go ahead and move the cars around using the locomotive and line them up on the long track in the proper order. And by doing that, that puts your last car is essentially the most important one to place so you always have to have that long track empty and with that you can make essentially a uh, equations because I used to do mathematics you can turn this into an equation so you can build any three sidings and header track into an effective angle look Y so you can have a shunting puzzle right there on your prototypical layout and it can allow you to do an extra operation the classic one like I say is two shidings of three a long siding of five and the header track of three with eight cars on the track. And this is essentially how you can have the most number of cars on these, uh, these sidings as possible and still be able to have access to all of them. You can do it with less cars. You can do it with a mere uh, two and two on your A and Bs on the two short uh, sidings and three on your long one with a header track of two and only five cars. And that's another way you can certainly do this. And if you wanted to make it longer, you could make it upwards of, say, you could make a four and a four on your two sidings with a seven on the long track and another four on your header track with a total of 11 cars. And this is still just as constrained as the other ones because there's just enough room to move all those cars around to set up, in that case, a seven car train on the long track. So what I've done is in... The SCARM here, I went through, as you can see, we've shown a bunch of them, but you can, these are my SCARM layouts where you can play with this simple simulator and you can lay out the tracks yourself and try out different layouts and see how they work. And then you can run the trains on them and make sure everything is long enough. Since this is a very specific length of turnout or length of siding, I have to make sure that it's exactly three or five cars long or just fits those number of cars. So it's very specific and important to go ahead and make sure that you lay out the track just right for what you're trying to do. In this case, I'm trying to build a Y, an Engelnook Y on the side of my time saver. So I think the Engelnook Y is a fun uh, way to do operations. It's an interesting and different thing to do. It's, it's, it is a little bit of a challenge. Uh, once you get used to it, the trick is just to get that last car in there. And... Uh, I, I think it's a good, a fun way to play with the models. It's, it's a fun way to do operations. So I hope you like watching this. I uh, hope you learn a little something, maybe uh, interested in doing the Y, adding it to one of your layouts. And soon enough, I'll actually go ahead and build one of these things. I'm getting closer to it, getting my things ready. Hope you tune in next time, and thanks for watching. See you again.